Guys, what's up? It's John. I'm here with my good friend, Kirk. What's up, brother? How you doing? Pretty good. Awesome. Today, we're going to take a look at this brand new, like a mini PC. It's called a Pantera Pico PC. It's available currently on Indiegogo, shipping later this year in December. And I do want to say a big shout out and thank you for to them for sending this to me to check out for you guys. So thank you for that, guys. Um, this is a really cool PC. Oh yeah, it's definitely cool. Um, this is on the lower end. They have different tiers with uh, you know bigger dr hard drives and more RAM and stuff like that. Uh, this one here is a Celeron two gigahertz, eight gigs of RAM and two hundred fifty six gig drive uh, SSD. Very nice little setup for emulation, and it's under two hundred dollars, so you can't really beat it. It's crazy, and this thing is really small. It was awesome. It came also with a nice little little case as well. Um, so in this video, we're going to kind of show you what the potential of this thing out of the box can do. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do a follow-up video in about a week or so and kind of show you what the final build is. What are your, what's your first impressions on this thing? It's pretty badass. I, I really, really liked it. Um, I enjoy the form factor. It doesn't get hot. The fan, when it does turn on, you don't even hear it. I had actually had to put my ear up to it to hear it. I had to run the stress test, everything I've thrown at it. It's never gotten too hot. Um, it's fully licensed Windows 10 right out of the box. I was able to upgrade to Windows 11 without having to pay. Windows automatically sees it. All updates, Windows updates, everything works out of the box. It's, it's actually very efficient, and for the price, you really can't beat it. Now, this model retails for about, I think it said 250 but it's on sale right now on Indiegogo for like 189 So even at 256 or whatever it costs, yeah, still I mean, a great deal. I mean, yeah, $250 was what I would have expected to pay for it you know, like at a regular retail store. And even then I probably couldn't get it below $250 because I mean, just what it's included, you know, it's a full license of Windows 10, uh, an SSD drive, that's 256 gig, you know, just adding up the parts, you really can't put it together in that little package for that price. And Windows license will cost you what, $90 alone? Yeah, depending on, you know, unless you're a college student or whatever, I and mean, you get a little yeah. break, but other than that, yeah, that's about right. Yeah. So it has uh, three USB slots, you have two, Four, USB. four, I'm sorry, yeah, but three of the, the USB three. Right. right. Uh, it's got four USB slots. So it's got an HDMI out. Um, it's got a little mic, micro uh, yeah, SD. Yeah, you can boot to micro uh, TF card. You can also boot to an external drive, and you can boot to the internal. You can set all that in the BIOS, and you can override it. So it's, you can actually have dual boots. So you could actually like boot Android or boot Linux on the TF card, and you could have the hard drive booting just regular uh, Windows. And very quick, and as you said, very very quiet. So, yes. I'm excited. Let's let's boot this thing on and, and see what you've done. I think oh, you yeah. you spent like the weekend uh, getting this thing ready, but making it a little emulation powerhouse. And uh, so far, so good. Yeah, it's a nice little system. It's not meant for gaming right now, but we kind of set it up so it is meant for gaming for yeah. a cheap price. It's pretty but nice. E but even outside of gaming, you can do a lot with this thing just for the. Cost. Oh yeah, for streaming everything else like that, you can stream 4K video, no problem. Um, I don't drop any frames when I switch when I'm streaming 1080 or 4K. So. It's pretty good. It's really nice. Pretty much just in a mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, plug in a mouse and keyboard. It already has uh, um, Wi-Fi included with it, so you can just connect to your home network. You're all set. Let's check it out, guys. Leave a comment below, please, as well. Let us know what you guys think at the end of the video, and go from there. Thanks. Super excited to share with you this thing because it's super cool. So first thing I'm going to share with you is cloud gaming and show you how it works. We're going to check out Game Pass by Xbox first. If you have NVIDIA Now, Steam... PlayStation Now as well, those will also work really good on this. And it loads the games fairly quickly. As long as you have a good Wi-Fi connection, there really is not any issues. I've tried playing this on the N2, which is a single board computer, kind of like the Raspberry Pi. The games do work, they do stream, but it is much, much slower. So this thing definitely more optimal to play on the, the Pico PC here. And you can see, we got Xbox. This, this game I'm show you is Minecraft Dungeons. If you've played Original Minecraft. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the original Minecraft, to be honest with you, but this was a lot of fun. I play this with my kids a lot, and uh, it's, it's a fun game, definitely to check out. But you can see, loads really quick, no issues, and what's so cool about cloud gaming, guys, is you don't need to invest thousands of dollars into a gaming PC, per se. You can buy one of these for a couple hundred bucks, and you're good to go for gaming. All you really need is a mouse and keyboard. There are some limitations, like some of the NVIDIA chips and stuff are on this thing, so if you were to like render, if you're doing movie editing, like using Adobe Premiere Pro or something like that, it would take a while to render that video, um, and there'd be some limitations, but if you want to do some gaming, that's, this is a really great machine to do that, for sure. Uh, I'm actually recording this video 
on the Pico PC, which is cool. It's being recorded on that, which is just to kind of show you how it works. Now, the next game I'll show you is GeForce Now. We'll show you how it loads, how quickly it is. Again, nice perk with Windows 10. I love that that's included. That's a $90 value right there, which is awesome. The license for Windows uh, and super easy to upgrade. This is Hot Shot Racing. Highly recommend this game. Came out about a year ago. This is a, a nod to the classic racing games back in the 90s. If you played virtu virtual racing, it's kind of a spiritual successor for that. By Sumo Digital, uh, they've worked on great racing games for, say, including Sega All-Star Racing, those two games, among others. The soundtrack for this game is actually done by my good friend Jason Heine. We've had a podcast, podcast for years, Alton Gamers. We started a, a convention called Game on Expo here in Phoenix together. Good friend of mine, so shout out to him. He did an incredible job with the soundtrack. And again, no issues with it connecting to GeForce Now, loading games from Steam. And if you haven't played Hotshot Racing, I highly recommend it. This game got me back into racing games, and it's so much fun to play. And you can see how it just, this is all playing at 1080p, 60 frames per second. A lot of different options for, for cars and characters and rate and courses and all that good stuff and the music. Top notch. I'm not just saying that because Jason's my friend, but he did a really good job with this and it's definitely a tip of the hat to him for sure. Let's see, it plays great. No issues here at all. Definitely reminds me of like the classic virtual racing games out back in for Sega and it's awesome. Play with others online. It's also available for the Switch and other consoles as well. Ooh. Nice. Now I'm going to shift gears. I like that transition there. Uh, I'm going to change and we're going to talk about emulation and how this thing actually plays emulation games, right? This is CoinOp, which is a really cool front end program. A group of people put this together. And what I love about the Pantera Pico PC is you can play games on this device that you can't play on a single board computer like the Pi or the N2 Plus or anything like that, right? So um, I'm gonna show you some games, uh, specifically arcade games that don't play necessarily well on the single board computers, including some games for the Sega M2 engine. This is uh, this came out in the 90s, kind of during the mid 90s, during the Saturn time. Uh, games like the Vitro Fighter and other games like that came out for this particular um, system. So start with Zero Gunner, which is a really fun uh, shooter. Definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, I just want to show you, again, playing at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Boots really fast. And uh, we'll start over here. We'll, we'll add some credits here. This came out in 97. And it, it kind of reminds me of the graphics of like a Saturn graphics, but uh, maybe between that and like a PlayStation 1. But really cool. You're kind of a... I just think this game's a lot of fun for a shooter, right? When you hold down the button, it actually targets the helicopter or your enemy, and if you just tap, it just uh, kind of free fire. So there's some strategy there as far as uh, firing goes, which is, which is cool. Definitely recommend this game out. And I think that's a really cool thing about emulation is you have the opportunity to play some of these games that you normally wouldn't be able to play. And there's other games that Kirk and I are going to do a follow-up video on the Pico PC once we get it built better but this is really out of the box so keep that in mind uh, these are just simply some minor tweaks but we're going to start getting games like the mario kart gp games that came out in the arcades by namco the two of those are going to work uh the sega star wars children arcade is going to work and, and some other racing games etc and we're our goal is to eventually get like a steering wheel and some pedals we have a light, light gun all the you know get house of the dead working etc those are gonna be really cool uh, once we'll start working you can see how this game can be a lot of fun and it can be very addicting and challenging and I just love these shooters. We're going to exit this. Really quick load. Wave Runners, I kind of like Wave Race. Virtual Fighter 2. There was a Sonic fighting game, kind of like Virtual Fighter 2 as well. We're going to check out Sega Rally. Uh, Pilot Kids is a lot of fun too and that game doesn't really necessarily work with other uh, single board computers but uh, it works great on here. Uh, Sega Rally is a game I remember going to back in the day, going to GameWorks and playing this. I think they had like four, maybe up to six or eight in a row and playing against other people. Sega Rally, this is 1995. And this game looks spectacular on the Pico PC. You can see it loads really quick. 
And look at the color, look at the HD. Awesome. Cool to see these games in, in HD and, and at 60 frames per second with no issues at all, no lag. It plays better than the original. The only thing we need now is the steering wheel and pedals, right? And, and connect them in like a line, get like a land, like just get them all in a row and playing other people locally, that'd be sweet. Or getting the Steam to play online would be sweet. Getting these games to play online would be awesome. But Sega Rally is definitely one of those racing games I highly recommend. Sega in the 90s and 2000s were king of racing games, right? They did a, a, a really good job with a lot of classic racers. This, of course, was ported to the Saturn, but the arcade one is superior for sure. The drifting in this game is crazy. Okay, we're going to exit this. And I'll show you one more game. We're going to check out uh, the uh, Taito Type X. This is another arcade system uh, that came out. And this is Contra Evolution. I believe this is what this is. This is by Konami, obviously. But this is a kind of a remake of the original Contra, which is cool. I'm not quite sure what year this came out with. I've never played this game before, to be honest. But the game looks really cool. I think it only came out in Japan Correct me if I'm wrong. It came out in 2011, so 10 years ago. You got four different characters to choose from. Take them out. And it's kind of a re reimagining of the, the original arcade or game and original NES game for that matter. Kind of it's rare instance where the NES game is better than the arcade game back then when it first came out in the 80s, right? But this one looks great. I don't think this picker one is ported to any home consoles or, or any PC or Steam or anything. To my knowledge, let me know if I'm, I'm incorrect. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Shout out to Kirk, Kubert Addict one on YouTube. I'll put a channel to his channel below. Thank you to the team at Pico PC for, for giving me this unit. Check out for you guys. I really appreciate that. I'll see you guys soon. Leave a comment. Subscribe as always. Thanks. Take care and game on.